Begin the lap by making sure you're already at your very best speed as you cross the timing line and start the clock. Optimally as you approach the second boy, you'll start bending around it way ahead, already as you're coming into the turn. This allows you to shave away a few degrees off of the most intense part of the turn. The faster you go, the harder you'll need to bank. The challenge is to hold an altitude where it is optimal for your bank angle. The better you pull this off, the more you'll have room to bend your turn around the third at top speed. Start accelerating already before you're past the boy. This way you'll come out to the fast backside at full throttle as soon as possible. Entry to this crucial midpoint is where your dream of a new record either gets crushed or stays alive. Everything depends on the execution of your previous turn, which, if flawless, lets you catch a comfortable angle and go full throttle as you lean into the turn. When you feel the nose drop, increase power to bring it back up and lean forward as you build up to 100% power. This here is nothing but top speed and holding steady. The less of an underwater footprint you have, the less you'll suffer from drag. It's a delicate dance, but when you're counting milliseconds, everything matters. The trick here is to find the best angle of attack that matches your ability to pull a steep turn at a high speed. It's a debate between turn radius and speed. The wider you go, the more it'll cost in terms of distance to cover, but then again, a wide line also means coming around the last turn faster. As you get better and your technique evolves, you'll build the confidence to go faster and make harder maneuvers. E-foil racing is an exciting sport and while you are competing against others around the world, perhaps the most rewarding aspect of it still is competing against yourself. Remember to relax and enjoy the ride. This is how I've come to beat my old records, time and time again.